I am a researcher. Uh, I have uh, spent uh, my entire career actually as a researcher and towards the end of the career I became an administrator and was in Hyderabad at uh, Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Diagnostics for three years. But after, uh, you know, superannuation, I came back to NCCS Pune. I don't know whether you wanted to mean NCL or NCCS. NCCS. They are making the cell lines for you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because uh, uh, I think uh, the, the NCCS is the place where cell lines are made. Uh, anyway, uh, so... Uh, but just a month back, I have moved back to Hyderabad uh, with this, uh, you know, responsibility of, uh, you know, Welcome Trust DBT India Alliance. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, you know, I have been on the uh, research side. Uh, I have moved to this side <laughs> uh, now. Anyway, uh, what I would like to do uh, today, uh, use this opportunity to talk about, you know, how uh, this organization, Welcome Trust DBT India Alliance, has tried to change the, uh, you know, entire ecosystem of research and development in India. Uh, if you compare, you know, all the agencies uh, which we normally uh, use, uh, you know, DBT, CSIR, uh, DST, uh, ICMR. Uh, this uh, Welcome Trust India Alliance, which came into existence in 2009, uh, so uh, it has actually uh, created, uh, you know, uh, we are talking of uh, capability or capacity building, uh, and uh, uh, this alliance has provided a platform for a lot of young scientists to come back to India and do high quality science. And I would like to show, uh, you know, some of the programs which are there in uh, Welcome Trust uh, DBT India Alliance, and which is helping to take the, uh, you know, uh, human uh, health-based science forward. So, uh, so as I said, it was created in 2009. Before that, Welcome Trust uh, UK was directly operating as it was operating globally. So there are, uh, you know, grantees uh, who are there uh, who got directly supported by Welcome Trust UK. But uh, this alliance between Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, and Welcome Trust it was initiated in 2009. And the basic idea was to support education and training and research in science and technology, building capacity in biomedical and health research, strengthening research ecosystems in India, fostering interdisciplinary and international collaborations, and making science accessible. So it's a public charity, so uh, it's a charity organization that invests in transformative ideas and supports research ecosystems to advance discovery and innovation to improve health and well-being. And our basic funders are DBT, Government of India, and Welcome Trust UK. So as I was saying, uh, we started around 2008 or nine. Uh, with early, intermediate, and senior fellowship program. And then uh, in 2013, we started with clinical and public health research fellowship. And lately in 2019, we have started with something uh, which actually is the talk of today and that is, uh, or this session, that is, uh, you know, how do you build capacity and uh, how do you interact, how do you network. So uh, we are funding now clinical public health research centers. These are supposed to be virtual centers, uh, you know, uh, having multiple uh, uh, research centers, clinical research centers, hospitals, universities, 
which includes clinical research training program. We give fellowships for physicians to become clinical researchers. And also there is something now called Team Science Grant. So we want people to create teams, create consortia and come to us, you know, answering some bigger questions, not, uh, you know, standard regular questions. We want them to solve some problem, uh, answer a bigger question by creating a team which will complement each other and would be able to answer a question. So this has started from 2019. And, uh, you know, as the first phase of 10 years was completed in 2019, the second phase is 2019 to 24. So till now, uh, you know, as you can see, we have given 537 awards in 133 organizations all across the country in 47 cities. Uh, I will not go into the detail. It shows uh, different kinds of programs which I just talked about. But uh, particularly here, I would like you to look at, you know, Clinical Public Health Research Fellowship. We have given 114. So many of you would be interested in that in addition to basic biomedical research fellowship. Again, I will, uh, uh, you know, uh, not go into this. Uh, just to show you areas which we have supported, if you look at epidemiology, clinical research practice, genetics, molecular biology, and development biology, immunology, neurosciences, all uh, different areas, including health science, health services research, psychiatry, neurology, uh, you know, bacteriology, etc. So how India Alliance helps uh, to launch your career is by giving early career fellowship, which could be immediately after PhD or MBBS or MD. And uh, even with, uh, you know, you can go with uh, intermediate fellowship and then senior fellowship. So, uh, you know, launch, establish, and then lead at all the steps uh, India Alliance can help you. And as it's written on that side, uh, you know, uh, we support basic biomedical research, we support clinical research, we support public health research. Uh, again, I will not go into detail of this, but as you can see, basically, uh, our fellowships are well-funded, uh, which can go from 1.7 crore to 4.5 crore for this basic, and for clinical, it can, again, be 1.9 to 4.7 crore. As I was saying, that from 2019, we have these two grants. These are new funding scheme, Team Science Grants and Clinical Public Health Research Centers. So these are uh, there to, to foster interdisciplinary collaborative research, which is the topic of this session that addresses important health challenge for India to, and for the clinical CPHR to establish research-oriented virtual centers that aim to improve clinical and public health research ecosystem in India. And under this program, we also are giving fellowships for clinical research training program. So to develop physician scientists to strengthen clinical research in India. Uh, again, so Team Science Grant, these are the details, I'm not going into it, but uh, as I said, you need to create a team which could be as big as 10 PIs, but minimum requirement is three PI, and PI could be from outside India also. It doesn't need to be within India. We actually support, you know, PIs outside India also and the funding could go up to 10 crores. And uh, for uh, clinical and public health also, uh, you know, Indian institution in collaboration with global partners. So even outside, uh, you know, partners could also be part of this uh, health centers. And, uh, you know, uh, the funding could be up to 10 crores for a five-year project. And this uh, training program, as I was saying, uh, this is to develop physician scientists to strengthen clinical research, and this has to be part of the, you know, uh, clinical health research program, as I was saying. In addition to this, a lot of discussion today has happened for outreach, for scientific communication, etc. So just to show you that India Alliance helps, you know, to communicate science 
to outreach, uh, you know, sounds uh, outreach program. So India Alliance, along with EMBO, has jointly, you know, funded uh, funds, uh, lecture courses all across India. Six such lecture courses in India. We have, uh, you know, lab leadership workshops, also research methodology workshops. Uh, we actually uh, fund uh, this program, uh, DIPS uh, workshop, Developing Indian Physician Scientist Workshop. Uh, again, the idea is to, uh, you know, excite physicians to do science. Uh, India Alliance believes in op open research, so India Alliance funds all their fellows for open access. Uh, we create, uh, we do science communication workshops and we fund, you know, major scientific m meetings and provide travel grants to, uh, you know, attend international meetings. And, uh, you know, I'm not, not going into number, we have, uh, you know, uh, trained and funded. We even have India Science Media Fellowship and Public Engagement. And we do try to publish, uh, you know, science, uh, both as uh, YouTube videos, podcasts, and newsletters. So that's the way India Alliance has been trying to bring together, you know, scientists and uh, to provide a platform to do high quality science in India. Thank you very much.